In this video, I wanna show you how to take your information from an old iPhone to a brand new iPhone 16 or iPhone 16 Pro. I'm gonna show you a really easy process. If you already unboxed your iPhone and set it up, went through the setup process, you need to reset this new iPhone to the factory setting. Basically, we need to go to that step where we just took it out of the box. If you just took it out of the box, you could skip about the next 30 seconds or so. But if you set it up like this, let me unlock it. What you need to do is go to the settings. I'm always gonna keep the new iPhone, by the way, on the right side of the screen and the older iPhone on the left side of the screen. So we don't do anything to the old iPhone just yet. So the new iPhone, if it's in the box, don't worry about it. But if it's not, go over here, go to general. So this is under the settings app, general. Go all the way down to right here. It says transfer and reset. And we wanna erase all content and settings on the brand new iPhone, just in case you already set it up. So that's what I'm gonna do, not my old iPhone. I just wanna repeat that to make sure you don't erase anything on your old iPhone. And then on this page, I'm gonna say erase everything. Yes, I don't wanna save anything. I just wanna erase everything. Okay, now we should all be starting at the same starting point. So this is basically me opening up the new iPhone. And if I just press and hold right here, this power button, this is the welcome screen that I get. And then over here, I have my old iPhone. So now the real step one right here is you need to go to your old iPhone and change something here first. On your old iPhone, first go to the settings application here and then go down to general and then scroll all the way down here to transfer and reset my iPhone right over here. And then you wanna just get started here. This is gonna create an iCloud backup. Even though we're not gonna use the iCloud backup, this is just a good option that you always have as a safety. So go ahead and click there and then press done right over here. Okay, now while that is doing that, this is all I need to do is I need to go to the new iPhone, iPhone 16 here or 16 Pro. I'm gonna unlock it. I'm gonna answer a few questions. You could see something is gonna pop up over here to set up your new iPhone, okay? So I'm gonna press continue here if I see this pop up. If you don't see this pop up, by the way, just turn both phones, just go ahead and turn them off like this for a second. I'm gonna turn it off. And then if I turn them both back on and unlock them, I should see this pop up appear over here. So I'm gonna press continue on the old phone here on the left side. Now you see it connected the two phones right now, they're communicating. And there's a signal right here, which is kind of hard to see how bright it is, but there's a signal right here. So I have to pick up the old phone and scan that signal on my new phone. So here's the old phone scanning the signal. And it does give you really nice prompts here to tell you exactly what to do, but it says continue to your old phone set up for me. That's what I wanna do. There's an option to set up for your child, but that's not how this was created. So that's grayed out. Enter the passcode of your old phone. So you have to know that. And now it says this may take a few minutes to activate. So it says finish on your new phone. So it's telling you which phones to bounce between and press buttons on. So I'm gonna let this process finish then it says transfer your phone number. So back in the day, at least two or three iPhones ago, you used to physically remove the SIM card from an old phone and move it here. These phones both have what's called an eSIM, so there's no physical card. But even if you have a physical SIM card with your number, you don't have to move it. It could stay on your old iPhone. So I'm gonna say transfer from another iPhone, which is this one. You could also set up your cell data later too. This is transferring your phone number. Now my old iPhone is asking me to confirm transferring the number over. So I just double click this here to confirm that and it's going to transfer the number. Okay, the setup is complete. I'm gonna press continue and continue here. Continue to set up face ID. You could always set this up later, but I'll just set it up right now. Okay, the face ID I just set up off camera, but the face ID actually doesn't transfer. You do have to set it up on the new camera for security. Now you have two options here. So if the iCloud option is done, you can choose that option as a backup, but I like to transfer directly from the iPhone. Since they're next to each other, this is gonna take 15 to 20 minutes, it says, and this says it takes about 15 minutes. I always choose this option, but you do get two options here to choose from. Okay, now it's going to this page right here. This may take a few minutes. In mine, it just took a few seconds and it's immediately setting it up. The transfer process actually happens after this, so a lot of the apps and stuff like that we'll move over here. So, few options. It says app and data from the other phone. So all our apps, all the data inside of the apps, all our messages, everything's gonna get transferred. Settings, wallet, connections, all these other stuff, you could actually choose not to transfer them. But in this case, even the stuff with my Apple Watch, I want all of it to transfer. So I'm not gonna customize 
anything. You can though, but I want it to be identical. So I'm just gonna press continue right over here. Location services does have to be set up based on the new phone. If you have any card attached to your phone, you do have to type in that information again. It's not gonna transfer that. Okay, saying to toggle on silent mode. So that's right here. I could press and hold. You'll need to press and hold this to turn it to silent. Now it is just like my old phone. You do also have a new camera control option, which is really nice. This option right here, which on older iPhones, there was nothing to click on. Now this lets you control your camera in a new way. Emergency SOS, okay. Now you need to sign into your Apple ID right over here. So that's the next step it's gonna ask you to do. Now, it finally brings you to this page. This is the actual transferring of data from the old iPhone to the new iPhone. We need to let this sit here. It says about 20 minutes, one hour. Let's see what it ends up actually being. Sometimes I have like 200 some gigabytes of information on here. So it may take a long time depending on your phone but just let this sit here for a while. While this is transferring, by the way, the new iPhone only comes with this cord. It doesn't come with a wall charger. So this is a very fast charging compared to the old lightning cables. This has been on the iPhone for a couple of generations, but USB-C charging requires you to have a different wall port because this part doesn't come with it. I have this one right here. This is by a company called Anchor, and this one has two ports for the USB-C, so you could do iPhone and iPad, for example, it has the old USB one too. This is extremely fast. This charges much, much faster than the old white cubes that came with the old iPhone. So if you don't have a USB-C charger for the wall, I'll put a link in the description to this one from Amazon. Okay, so in my case, it took exactly 39 minutes. It says transfer complete. This is rebooting the new iPhone. And in some cases it takes longer. I've heard some people take over an hour, sometimes even two hours. So you have to be patient with this transfer process. Okay, now let me just go ahead and press continue on this one. And this is now asking you to erase your old iPhone. I do not want you to do this right now because if you erase it and something happened that didn't fully transfer, sometimes for example, two-factor authentication doesn't transfer over and you have to set that up for some apps that require that kind of password. So I'm gonna press not now because you could do this in the settings. I'll show you where that is in a second, but I want you to press not now. I don't wanna delete this old iPhone yet. I wanna leave everything that was already on here. Okay, now if you take a look, these phones look the same, but some apps are still pending. So it says waiting, waiting. If I scroll over, you could see all the apps have not yet fully downloaded, they're waiting. All the passwords also transfer, except if they need two-factor authentication or if you have the authenticator app, sometimes you have to re-sign into a few different apps in my experience. That's why I usually leave this iPhone exactly as is here until it's fully done and I've tested it here on the new iPhone. Once you are happy with the transfer, let's say maybe the next day or two days from now, you're happy, everything's working on your new iPhone, there's no issues, then you could go to the settings app of your old iPhone here. Then it's gonna ask you to erase this phone, if you wanna get rid of this phone, you could sell it, you could give it away, you could trade it. Or if you don't see that option, if you go to settings right here, go all the way to the bottom, erase iPhone right here, and you could go ahead and press erase all content and settings, and then this will be reset to the factory setting of this old iPhone. I also got the brand new Apple Watch, so I'll go ahead and unbox this next in the next video, and I'll put that link right over here. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.